Hi there, this is Kevin once again and guys in this video I am going to show you my project that is Facebook Events Page Web Scrapper. So guys without being said, let's get started. So guys in this world of digital era, everyone is using Facebook nowadays and Facebook is now just not a platform of social network but it is also providing the major information about the events that are going around you. Suppose if you are free at uh, evening time and you want to go to some places so you can get the events that are going around you with the help of events pages on Facebook. So what I tried is I can I tried to scrap this events data suppose here we are having the event name around so this is the event and here you can what I did is I created a script in which I integrated the Google spreadsheet yes like Google spreadsheet Google Docs uh, in which here you can put the URLs of the events that you want to scrap the data and if we talk about the scrapping the data what we can scrap is if, if we uh, talk about from the top of the page we can scrap this image we can scrap this event title and we can scrap this whole Sunday and the timing and date of the event and location of the event and guys, if we talk about the location of event, we can get the exact coordinates of the event. For that, I use Google Map API and uh, with the help of exception ending, I get that location. And we can, so guys, other thing that you can scrap from this script is actually, it's not a script, it's a web development platform because I'm using a Python Django here. So uh, we can scrap the details of the event here. So let's see the working of this uh, script and we will talk about other features later. So I just copy the URL. And for uh, using the URLs, pasting the URLs here, you just need to paste it here. And uh, the URL like here, we are having this URL. So I just paste it here. And uh, the like here, we are having third URL also. So I just paste it here. So guys, suppose if you are having many URLs, what you can do is just directly use this feature of access sheet like uh, here. We can get the other um, pages here. So I'll just control the edit. So we are having three URLs for this, we will just use three URLs and what this script will do, this script will scrap the whole data from these three URLs, Every any URL can, you can paste it here and if you are having any problem, please comment out, I will try to resolve it as soon as possible. So guys, after pasting the URLs on this sheet too, I will just run my Django server. So I think my Django server should be running. So my Django server is running. I use the command python 3 manage.python server. And if you don't know Django, please see my previous tutorials on basic tutorials on using Django. And if you are having any query, you can you are feel free to ask me. So let's see whether this script is working or not. So on the local, I think on the local local URL, I just created a function of scrapping the data from this events events actual sheet. So let's see if we are getting any error or it's working. So you can see here it's just scrapping the data from all the URLs. So this script is working in the backend. Actually on Django we can't print this whole running code on the on directly on the screen because it's just synchronous. It's not asynchronous. So for that we need to use Node. We need sorry we need to use Ajax here. So it, so my script is working. It's scrapping the data and let's see what's happening. Actually it will take time but it is much easier than getting the whole data to the Excel sheet manually directly doing data entry work to a form and putting the database. Yeah guys, this is uh, you can see here my whole data of three events is scrapped and you can see here we are getting these box boxes because I think it's I think it's an event of Ganesh Chaturthi. I am sure we are having this here. So actually it, I think it's in a, any Malayalam, any Marathi language that's I have my species unable to detect it and we are getting this block block so let's see so guys here one thing here you can notice here is as my script is uh, script is successfully completed of one url here you can see my all the you previously filled url are removed from here automatically so it will help me to again pushing some urls i don't need to uh, delete the urls i just need to put the new urls and do the stuff so you can see on the sheet one what we are having is on the sheet one we are having the url from where we scrap the data this is the title of the event page you can see Ganesh Chaturthi 2017 so i think it's uh, this so you can see we get the name here and we get the starting date we get the end date actually uh, here i put the logic that if there is nothing uh, given in the uh, given in the last in the end date so i just put the start date as the end date because most of the events were ended uh, ended one day and there is no return of end date here so i just put the logic here and manually we can uh, also alter these changes and here is the starting time here is the ending time 
and here is the start seconds and end settings actually these start seconds and end seconds will be have to put the data in the database at the time of putting the data we can retrieve it uh, retrieve it easily because uh, we are not able to retrieve the data with the help of this 4 pm directory 400 with the help of start second actually we are just converting this time to seconds actually we can convert this time and here we are get the location and here we don't get the latitude longitude actually sometimes we are not able to get the latitude longitude because i am sure why we are not able to get latitude longitude because here it's written ganesh nagri uh, lower parallel and other thing that here we are having something in marathi that's why we are unable to get the latitude longitude but for the other events i am able to get the latitude longitude and other thing i'm going to here um there is no more info here and here we get the url of all the images here we are having this image so we get the url and we let's see in the other things that what we are doing with this so other things just other stuff that here we get the major thing is here the event detail we get the detail of whole event here so i think it's quite easy suppose if you are having 50 to 60 or 100 of event we can get them i think i tested it for 100 events it take around two hours for scrapping the data but it's quite easy for manually doing it so this is the first phase of this project and these are the features of this first phase so now let's see the module 2 so my module 2 is actually i don't need to know the url here i think it's upload so yeah it's upload so what it will do i will tell you first of all i will elaborate so what it will do actually the company for which i get this project they need to put the image put the background of their company with every image suppose here we are having a drinking dogs images so the image of uh, the image on facebook event pages are not similar because they can be horizontally they can be vertically so what they do is they just put a static background with every images and uh, they record that they are having a canvas account and they put it in the equal ratio or proportion so what i did, did is i did that uh, work with automation i with the help of pillow library that uh, image merging library i did that so i will show you here so what it will do it will just uh just showing showing the feature of that it will scrap the this url this url will scrap that uh, scrap this whole three urls into a data frame to my function and then it will merge the image with equal ratio and proportion to the back uh, to the back side and then it will uh, the merged image will be saved to my computer and as the image will be saved to my computer it will again upload that image to firebase get the url from the firebase and put it whole url in the sequence way to this actual sheet so this is the beauty of this actually i did it i take around 30 days to do this work so, uh, to this whole project so it was a big time and i will refresh it and let's see actually i don't need to refresh it yeah and i think it's upload so let's i will show you actually i'm running in this uh, on local machine so i will be able to see so you can see within around within two to three seconds i am able to get the uh, merged images so you can see this is the image and what i get is i get the uh, all image i have open so wait. so you can see uh, within two to three seconds i am having a merged image with that background actually the background is of the company and uh, i will not uh, name the company here so this is the beauty of this project and other thing what it will do i will check here so you can see merge successfully it shows merge successfully and what it merged is here you can see all the urls are changed actually uh, the previously the urls are with uh, as content here you can see if i will show you this image here open this image in new time you can see the urls as content farg and here we got the url of firebase this this url is of our merged image if i will open this image you can see uh, we get the url of merged image so this is whole work is done by automation so there is no no use of any data entry work there is no new use of any canvas account here all the work is doing this by this automation script and uh, other thing actually sorry to the say but i forgot to show you the one of the feature that's a small feature what i did is i created a function for checking the errors in this script so what it will check i will show you so it's just uh, going on you can see here what i'm doing is i'm just getting this whole data into the form of tables and uh, after checking the what it is checking is here it is checking for none values here here you can see suppose here we are having 30 events and we are having a nan here nan actually i if uh, my script is unable to detect anything so what it will do it will put nan here so you can see in the latitude longitude here we are having a one nan in the in one column we are having a nan so you can see here in one latitude longitude 
here we are having one end it is showing that uh, here before pushing the whole data to the database actually this uh, data will get directly pushed to the database so there is no use of any form for putting this data data entry work all the work is doing by automation so here we are having one end it means we just uh, need to put these values like 0 0 here it means our all the uh, all the columns are full and uh, manually checked by the manual check by data entry worker so we need some manual working here but uh, the working is very less as compared to the whole manual manual return copy pasting and creating the actual sheet so this is the uh, the url and last url is just the pushing the data uh, to the database so i think it's database underscore push so yes so i'm uh, sorry to say guys but i am unable to show you the database because if i have due to for some credentials but i can show you here what it is doing it is just getting the uh, data frame starts here so it just push the data to uh, first event data 488 with the id of 488 fit then 489 and with the, in the sequence it will arrange the whole event data and you can see data push successfully directly to the database so that's my project and if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment because i will show the other projects my other my projects and regularly so if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment bye bye and have a nice day and if you are having any query please comment or i will try to resolve it as soon as possible